Hello and welcome. I hope you're having a beautiful Saturday wherever you are in the world. Today's question is how do you know which social media platform you should be on, specifically as a small business? Now I'll mention this probably in every single video. The challenge for small businesses on social media is always the same. They have limited resources, right? They have limited time, they have limited money, they have limited people and they probably have limited skills because they are the best in the world at what they do. It just so happens that's not social media. So when you have limited resources, you have to uh, choose where you invest them and you have to be very, very strategic about where you do that. Now it's very, very easy in a world where you know, there's always shiny object syndrome, there's always Snapchat and Instagram and there's Periscope and then there's Blab but then Blab disappeared and then there's LinkedIn, there's all of these different platforms and there's always going to be buzz created around them and so it can be really difficult and it can be really, really easy to get caught up in this mindset of because social media is 24-7, as a business owner you think you've got to be on everywhere, all the time, engaged you have to be living 24 7 and it's just not the case it doesn't work like if you had an, a ton of different resources and you could pump it into every platform and make it wonderful of course you're going to do a good job I'm not saying that what I'm saying is um, you have to be really strategic as a small business owner and stick to one or two platforms I would say either that or adopt a strategy where the heart of your um, content is your website and you choose to share the content natively out to other platforms but again choose one or two primary platforms for engaging and that can work as well so with that being said the key thing you have to consider is a who's your audience because you're trying to reach them you want to get your content in front of their eyeballs so it doesn't matter where your peers are it doesn't matter that everybody's jumped on snapchat if your customers aren't there there don't waste your time you have limited resources small business owner spend them wisely not on snapchat if your customers aren't there so you have to think about the platforms that are suited to your ideal customers. Where are they hanging out? Go hang out with them. Now it's very, very simple to find that information out. Ex um, expanded Ramblings, I think is what it's called. I'll include a link below. They have all the statistics on this stuff. So you just need to go and find that out. You have to know who your ideal customer is, of course. And um, so yeah, that's the key thing. Of course, Facebook and Twitter are always kind of like up there unless you're B2B in which case LinkedIn is a wonderful platform but if you are the majority of people a seventh of the world is on Facebook so there's a good good chance that a lot of your audience are on Facebook. The challenge with Facebook of course is that it's a very much a pay to play platform so again if you have limited resources and you can't afford to advertise keep it in mind that you have to think of the return. It's worth advertising. You know, it's worth spending five pound in order to get 10 pound back or dollars, if we're talking dollars. So you have to consider that as well. Um, but again, comes down to one, where's your audience? Go find them and hang out with them. Two, know what your skill set is. Again, there is nothing more awkward you probably experience this every time you watch a video with me and there's nothing more awkward than someone standing in front of a video trying to promote what they're doing and they can have the, the most passion for what they do but they are terrified of the camera so they're standing there and they're like uh, yeah she, you should come to our sales and um, yeah we have an event on on Friday at 7 p.m. and it will be really great because they're so nervous and that's where the focal point is that they can't share their passion and it's a passion that's contagious. I hope that you always feel my passion when I'm talking about this stuff because I love it. Um, so yeah, you've got to find the platforms that are best suited to you and it's very easy to be like, you know what, video is the biggest trend so we have to do video. Okay, but if you're not good in front of video and then the message that you're trying to share you're not going to be able to communicate that effectively and that's what this all comes down to being able to communicate your message effectively 
to that ideal audience in a way that they understand. So if it's not good for you to do video, find somebody who can or ch change it up. Do text, do um, images, do whatever fits that. And every platform is different. How I like to think of it is they're like different countries of the world and they all have different cultures. And so you have your same core message, you're just trying to translate it into the native language. And there's going to be some platforms that you find that easy to do because that makeup fits your personality versus others which maybe aren't so easy to do. So A, you have to know where your audience is and B, you have to know um, what what um what your what your skill set is and going all in on your strengths i don't think it's a really great idea to force yourself i mean practice 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 and you will get better at it that's that's fine and that's a good thing but it's just something to consider when choosing your social media platform and the third one is you have to think about your time and your resources and where you can you know afford to kind of spend that time. Pinterest, for example, it's all graphics. It takes a lot of work to do that. YouTube takes a lot of work. You have to like create a video and you have to put a little bit of work in. And most people aren't lazy like me. They go and do the editing and fancy graphics and a great description and all that stuff. I would like to think, I would like to point out it's not a laziness thing. It's like a, I think I'll mess it up so I'm not going to do it thing but my point is you've got to think again it comes back to those resources and where you want to spend them so one who are your audience where are they hanging out go find them if you don't know you should know figure that out and if you look for statistics look for expanded ramblings the link is below uh, the second point is to know your own strengths know what you're good at or what your team are good at and how you can bring them together and showcase your personality because when you're comfortable using a platform you can communicate effectively and people will feel it and that's what you want you want them to feel it in their emotional center that's what hooks them that's what makes them engaged with a brand and that's what makes them want to be part of your story um, and the third point is to think of your resources and where you can afford to spend your time and how what your skill sets again with that like is, is it going to take you 10 hours to create five social media graphics maybe not the best use of time maybe you should pick a better pl a platform that doesn't maybe rely so much on image or video or whatever so I hope that aid your cue. I know it's a little bit rambly. I'm finding it a little hard not to prep for these things, but the point is to get the consistency. And I want you to be able to grow with me on this channel. It's for you. Like I'm doing this because I want to be able to help you. And I want to get out of my own head and my own blocks of perfectionism and just be like, you know what? This is the answer to your question. I hope it helps. So I truly hope it does. Thank you for being on this journey with me. It's just a beginning and I truly, truly appreciate it so much. If you have a question you'd like me to answer, just include it in the comments. I promise you I will answer it um, as soon as I possibly can. Never forget that you have the power to change the world. One connection and one conversation at a time. Much love from my heart to yours and I hope we speak soon. No? Yes? Maybe? No? <laughs>